Hey, 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 it's Rod Bergeron here with you. Today I'm out in Peters Woods, um, just north of Grafton, Ontario, and uh, it's a beautiful fall day. It's really, really nice. I'm down here in the bottom of this uh, dry uh, creek bed, dry river bed. There's a little bit of water in it right now because it rained last night. Uh, so I'm trying to be a little bit careful and not flip and flop around here. Normally when I come outside and I color things, I use watercolor. But there's not really a good reason for that. Um, I mean, I guess the, the main reason is that it's fairly simple painting technique. It's not like acrylic or oil. Um, but I want to show you a different one today. I want to show you something that you can use that doesn't require any water. You don't have to bring anything with you other than just this one real simple, easy tool. And so let's have a look at it. I did a drawing of this and we're just going to put a little bit of color on it and see if we can have some fun with this. Remember, being outside, doing plein air should just be about coming outside, doing the field studies, having some fun being outside in nature and just having a good time. Bring yourself some coffee. Of course, uh, I always have candy on me. Whatever you have to bring to make yourself comfortable, get out here and do something. Let's have a look. All right, I gotta put my glasses away there. Okay, so I got my coffee going on here and I got a pen, so I don't need my pen right now. I'm gonna put that in my little pocket there. Um, I gotta drink this coffee, so get your coffee in you before you start painting. Um, <clears throat> set that down, grab yourself some candy. All right, what I got here today is um, some Lyra pencil crayons. And these are the Rembrandt polycolor ones. You see I use quite a bit of uh, blue and green. Shouldn't surprise you, I do a lot of stuff outside. Um, but today I'm going to use some of these colors here, some of these darker, uh, I guess like brown and dark red colors. I'm going to use a maybe a dark blue, um, maybe a sepia. Probably not going to use any of these because these really aren't falling into the range of color that I'm thinking about for this particular piece. So for me, I would probably get out these colors that I think I'm going to use. And then I would close them up. These are super good pencil crayons. I buy them whenever I get a chance to. Um, I'll put a link to these in the description below. Um, also, right above here, I'm going to have a. Uh, I'm doing a poll, and so I'd like it if you would click on that poll and let me know what it is that you think about drawing and painting outside. I really want to know if you ever go outside to draw and paint. I'm interested in how many people actually go outside and do artwork so I'm interested in that so please click on that poll and let me know um, so take out the colors that you're interested in using or that you think you're going to start with close up your container the other thing is these come in this awesome metal container uh, I can't I can't tell you uh, speak enough about buying stuff that comes in a metal container it really makes your life simple and once you're done with those you can keep that metal container to put other art supply in so I did this a few minutes ago here and I thought um, I really want to put some color onto this is what I thought and one of the colors that are are very very prevalent on this of course is green I mean we're still outside in nature but we have like a lot of yellowy goldy kind of stuff going on here so I thought maybe I would put some of that on some of these leaves or indicate where some leaves might be and I thought I would do that initially just you know very quickly um, not not again this is a field study so I'm just trying to indicate where color is or indicate where I think in a future drawing or future painting I may put some color it doesn't have to be uh, perfect it just has to be that you're you're indicating where it is that you're thinking about color okay also most of these I should say some of these leaves have uh, started to change a little bit. So I'm going to put in a little bit of this color on 
some of those leaves there. Again, over here, I'll do the same thing. Just make some kind of an indication about color. Again, you're not trying to you're not trying to color all this in perfectly. You're just trying to give some indication about color. This actually is a could use a little bit of brown on this. So I think I'm going to do that a little bit. And you'll see how as soon as you start to put a little bit of color on a black and white drawing like this, it really starts to come to life a little bit. It really starts to, you know, just that little bit of color on this thing makes this start to become something that you you can think of as, oh, that I could see how maybe I could make that into a drawing at home. So I used that one, so I'm going to set that one aside because um, I've used it. I'm going to grab out this one here, which is a slightly more goldeny kind of color. And you can go over other areas. You can do some, you know, put some color on other things. Uh, the one thing about pencil crayons and working outside, I think you should have a plan for when you're going to sharpen them, what it is that you're going to do with the little sharpened bits. I don't think um, leaving them outside here is a responsible thing to do. I think you need to have a plan for what it is that you're going to do with these things. And I think part of the plan should be just put them into a bag. I just use a little sandwich bag and um, sharpen them in the little sandwich bag and then cart that out with me. All right, this is a little bit of a, this one is actually Venetian red, which I love because it's um, got a really good deep color. And you'll see these colors all blend really well together. They go, you know, they're so, they work so nice on a piece of watercolor paper. And those of you who have followed me know that I pretty much always work on watercolor paper when I'm outside. I, I would say pretty much exclusively I do because there's always a chance that I'm going to um, want to paint something. This is a this is a time where I said to myself what, what can I do today that's not painting and this is what I chose. Pencil crayons. It's great for doing field studies. It really is. It's super fast. It allows you to put a little bit of color on the page just to give some indications of what it is that you're thinking about. So you see these colors all mix and match really well together. I'm going to take this darker. So this is Van Dyke Brown. And I'm going to put this in here for this tree. Again, long linear. If you want something to look long and linear, long linear strokes. Okay? Not short choppy long linear strokes are always going to give you an indication of long linear areas I'm gonna put in a whole bunch of brown here because this is all very very dark and I'm going to go over this tree beneath here again I'm gonna put in some more of this some more here and here and you'll see how this thing is already starting to really come to life super nicely there's a lot of moss on here so i'm going to indicate that with just a little bit of green right over top of those other colors that i already have on there just like that all the way down in here you know have a look at it and you know have a look at your subject and say okay so there's more green going down in here Certainly there's some green here where these um, little trees are under here that I have. There's also some very, very, quite a bit of darkness underneath here. So I'm going to put those in like that. I'm going to use this dark green right over top of this light green. But I'm going to continue my idea of going in those circular kind of a motion like that. You know, that, that stroke that's having... That stroke that's making it look like it's curved. Okay, this is a silver birch, so this has got a lot of darkness underneath here. And I'm going to indicate that darkness not with black, but I'm going to use a blue because 
Well, because I can. You can too. There's no colors that have to be absolutely correct. And for me, I really like shaking things up. Now, those of you that watch me or students who are watching me are saying, yeah, he likes to shake things up, all right? So blue is a really good color for making stuff look a little bit darker. Down here across the side here, there is a whole bunch of moss, which is sort of a weird greeny blue kind of a color. And it actually curves. Sort of up like this. I'm going to set that blue down. And I'm going to grab this, which is a moss green. And I'm going to do curved lines coming up the other direction across that to indicate to myself where that moss actually is. And you'll see that green changed, or that blue, I should say, changed really readily. Okay. All right. Okay, so it doesn't have to all be watercolor when you're outside. And I would suggest to you when you're doing, you know, when you're doing some real simple little, um, just a real simple going outside and doing a field study, you don't need to have a whole bunch of watercolor and stuff with you. Just pencil crayon. And to tell you the truth, I, I really like using pencil crayon inside I mean a lot I have lots of finished work that you know I've shown in galleries that has been in pencil crayon so there's no reason why you can't do it so um, if you learned anything from me today please click like and if you got a question or a comment I'd love to hear from you let me know what it is that you're doing outside um, if you would do that poll for me I would really appreciate that if you're currently a subscriber, I thank you very much. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you. So, here in Peter's Woods, it's Rod Bergeron. See you next time. All right, I'm going to keep going with this a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of... I'm just going to go fairly light in the background here. A little bit of wind in the background. Just going to do this really lightly across here. Join this up to this. Not too bad. I'm going to actually grab this dark, this brown, and put in some more brown on this. I love the way these colors mix really well together. Alright, there you go. Lira pencil crayons. Go out in the wide world and give them a try. Thanks for joining me. See you again next time.